And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the new Lab of Legends or just the new upgrades for the Lab of Legends. We are going to be taking Fizz all the way from normal to legendary. We got the new modes today. Um, we had already had um, these 10 champions and now we got five new champions to go ahead and play. If you do win a run with each one, then you get the Malphite card back. So that's pretty sweet. But today we're going to uh, go ahead and use Fizz. And there's different, you know, like new powers, they said, and new new other champions to get inside the game and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. So we're, we got four modes, Normal, Hard, Heroic, Legendary. And um, we're going to, you know, we have to start with Normal. So here we go with Fizz. So I haven't seen, you know, the, these new powers at all or anything yet. I haven't seen this. This is brand new to me. So what do we have for Fizz? So we have Warding Shot, Parlay, Coral Creatures, Pick a Card, Double Trouble, Petty Officer, Mystifying Magician, and Zap Sprayfin. That's a pretty good deck that they have. Um, free rerolls. Okay, so that's new. So I guess the first one you get free rerolls. Uh, that is new. So um, when allies attack, nab one. That's that's new. When you summon an ally, give it plus one, plus one this round. That's not bad either. But yeah, free rerolls. Wow, so you can just sit here and like reroll. That's actually pretty cool. Man, there's a bunch of new powers. There's a bunch of new ones. All right, so chat says to find plus two, plus two. So we want Yip's Genius, huh? Whenever you summon a one cost unit, grant it plus two, plus two. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. All right, so here we go. All right, Jay Maskell, hopefully you learned some stuff then. Um, okay, so you can change your loadout. Okay, I was wondering, because I always get the... I was going to say, I always get the um, the, uh, the same planet Earth board. I was wondering if you could change that. Oh, we could get the lab board? Yo, I never play the lab board. Let's get, let's get the, the lab board. I guess we could do Bilgewater because we're Fizz. The lab board is sweet. All right, well, we got Fizz. We'll take Fizz, Warning Shot. Actually, let's let's just keep double Warning Shot, because that should be able to kill them round three. Do we not have the lab board? Oh, so lab board's just the default, so you just, like, play the same board that they have? Oh, I thought we were going to get, like, the, you know, cool, like, lo-fi music and everything like that. So if you haven't played this this mode before, if this is new to you, um, basically what we have is um, it's, it's a single-player run... Um, where we are going to be, uh, like, where we have one life total. We got 30 next, 30 health. That just continues on from game to game. We're on normal mode. It's, just, it's very easy to start with, and you know, first first opponent with the spiders. Okay, what are we adding? We got Renekton, Callista, and Twisted Fate. These are all pretty decent. These are all pretty decent. I'm thinking Renekton. Get another one drop. Because remember, our one drops get the plus two, plus two. So yeah, get another. Like, this is a one mana, five, three. Yeah, we should get this. Oh, Haunted Relic does get you one. Get, does get you three one ones. That is true. Y'all like the Haunted Relics? And then Callista? Okay, I could see that. Three one ones. Okay. I'm in there. All right, let's change our loadout. See, I think I thought that like we were getting this board here with the labs. Um, we'll go on over to Slaughter Docks, and we need Fizz. All right, there we go. No, so the Undercity came out with Victor, and so that's like Victor's board. That's a cool board. 
All right, we got Fizz. I'm just going to go ahead and mulligan the rest of these. So they only start with 10 life on normal. Hard mode, they'll have 15. Sapling toss? Yes. Sapling toss is good. Alright, so my plan was to... I don't know why I don't, don't, don't just block the 4-3. My plan was to play the other four creatures and then Haunted Relic, but now, of course, that Sapling toss. We'll just go Haunted Relic. Alright, that's not bad. Wait, okay, so I need... Stop. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. But then they block this one. I'm trying to make it so Fizz does the lethal damage. Yay! Okay, good. <laughs> you know, I want Fizz doing the lethal damage. Yeah, the one drop's getting... You know, getting permanent plus two, plus two buff. That's... A really good power. Alright, Overwhelm plus 2 plus 2 or Quick Attack? Well, obviously we're gonna take plus 2 plus 2 for Fizz. <laughs> so let's just let's just buff Fizz up e even more. Oh dang, that's a great champion item. Alright, then we get a reinforcement. Um, I guess Sparklefly? It's either Sparklefly or Croaker. I don't think it really matters. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take the the, cro the fortune croaker. Yeah. Fizz is gonna kill people immediately. All right. So no fizz mulligan. That's the only card that I want. It's fizz. We gotta look for fizz. No, no fizz. All right, so the prediction thing is still up from last time. What was the outcome? Did we win or lose from whatever game that, that prediction was from? Oh, no fizz. So go hard. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could go hard this Spiderling, but no. Nah. Not going to do that because then we're, we're about to get Petty Officer plus Haunted Relic in here. Oh, I could double Haunted Relic? No, we just don't have the room for that. Alright, so we'll get a one-cost follower. We'll toss some non-fizz cards. Let's go! That's 12. All right, so you can see our life total is at 24, but Thresh is a boss. And so whenever you defeat a boss, your Nexus health resets. So we're going to go back up to 30. Okay, and we get a new power. Now we're, we're set at three rerolls for the rest of the time. You have inf infi rerolls at the very beginning. Because they realized that people were just doing like the retire run, rejoin, retire run, rejoin until they got the power they wanted anyway. All right, when ally survives damage, grant it plus one, plus one. Allies have attack, raise my health to match my power. Summon an ally, give it challenger this round. Okay, not bad. Not bad powers. Um, I don't think we need to use a reroll. We could probably go with one of these. And I'm kind of thinking this duelist... You know, having these haunted relics have challenger. That sounds pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna just go ahead and go with that. Um, and I will go with the sun blessed vigor to help protect Fizz. Jettison, I guess, also helps protect Fizz, and it only costs one mana instead of two. But we're not really a jettison deck. Send them all back. I could kind of see keeping them with the warning shot. Yes, we got Fizz. Yep, yep, yep. 
because it's Fizz is a 6-5 now. I guess it gets blocked by the 1-1. One, one. That's that's why I could see keeping the warning shot. A chill in the air. All right, let's parlay this so it doesn't hurt my fizz. Like we could play Callista, but honestly, double trouble bubble is kind of more powerful. <laughs> Because we get multiple 3-3s. Three oh, haunted Relic. Alright, I'll get you in play. Sure. Give me a spell. Singular Will. This is going to be a fast run. That's for sure. All right, Haunted Relic time. So basically, we attack out. Our Callista levels up. Unfortunately, this is like going to kill them. But so, you know, like we'd be able to rally and attack again. And then we'd have like our leveled up Callista attacking the second time. Right. Which would be cool and stuff, but, you know, they're dead. Yeah, so the skill is the one cost to get plus two, plus two. And so we got that skill, and then <laughs> we also gave Fizz an additional plus two, plus two. This gonna be fast. Okay, quick attack shark chariot, no. Barrier house spider, no. Monkey business, when... Cast, cast me again. This get, yeah, the powder monkeys are one, one costs. All right, I guess we take that. Um, let's get another warning shot. When cast, you get a random one cost poro, because of course the one cost get plus two, plus two. Man, this run is just not even fair. <laughs> You're doing an Aurelia run, and you got Zoe, and you got two Von Yip, genius Von Yip talents. Wow, with Zoe. Yeah, Zoe's really good. That that was... Um, yeah, Zoe's a, a great support champion to get. Actually, so, alright, so we're going to play this. We get our 3-3. Three, three. That can challenge that. Alright, that's kind of broken. Alright, Sleepy Trouble Bubble. Twelve, there are thirteen. Just another winter. So I gotta do one more damage. Alright, they went with the immediate attack. Letting Fizz get back in there. And there's the parlay, GG's. This is ridiculous. I've never I've never gone through this so fast. I really haven't. We're at like 14 minutes and we're all the way through here. Um, okay, so none of these are any good. So I guess we're gonna use our first reroll. Okay, Behold the Infinite can get us the one cost Poro. Go hard plus drawing cards. But we don't really need that. Playful Trickster is cool. We don't really need that either, though. I guess we're going to go Behold the Infinite that gets the Poro, because really the important thing is the Poro. Yes! When you cast a spell, reduce my cost by one. That's pretty good. But yes, Double Trouble that also has Poro Snacks. We just have all these things have Poro Snacks on them. 
We have three different cards now that have Poro Snacks, so that they make a one-one or a one-cost Poro, which of course means it's going to be a three-three Poro. All right, we need to find Fizz. We'll keep we'll keep a warning shot. I would if we had Fizz, I would definitely be keeping both warning shots. Like warning shots, great, but we need Fizz. And that's why Warning Shot is great. <laughs> wow, this is silly. Aro says, I got Zillion with created card cost reduction, so one mana time bombs. Love it. Um, I just don't have the plunder for this. I wish I had the plunder for that. I guess I'm going to pass and just save my two spell mana for the plunder. Hmm. I guess I guess no plunder. We do get double monkey. Double monkey with challenge. And G G. I don't like we haven't like gone through past like round three like at all. You got a 1 mana 8 6 LeBlanc with Scout. <laughs> that does sound pretty dumb. Alright, what else we got? We got new new passive power. Out of the gate, start of the game, summon a 2 cost unit from your deck. That's not bad. Round start, creative flating. Bleed, Blades Edge, that's new. What is this? When you summon an ally, grant it a random keyword? Really? Everything gets keywords? That sounds amazing. Let's go. Let's get some keywords. Another plus two plus two with Phage. Wow, for our Fizz. Fizz is now eight seven. You know, it's a six five, but they'll get eight seven. And it's gonna get a keyword. Oh my gosh, this, this mode is ridiculous. These powers are really strong, aren't they? All right, send it all back. There's no Fizz here. We need to find Fizz. Still no Fizz. Let's go! All right, what keyword do you get? Scout? You get Scout? Oh my gosh. They like dead round one. <laughs> Oh, right, I still attack. Go. All right, they're basically already dead. Round one. Won't find better this side of the sun. Um, let's go ahead and behold the infinite. Cosmic Inspiration. Why not? Obviously, we're never playing that card, but... Okay, we get a... Plucky Poro with Spell Shield. Oh, our Nimble, nimble Poro has Augment. Alright, so Double Trouble gets us three things. Okay, so you also have Scowl. <laughs> this is silly. Alright, that's game. Yes, shiny timelines gives shiny troops. Shiny shiny anything always gives you shiny other stuff. Shiny cards create shiny cards. Alright, 
All right, what else we got? We could get Fizz Barrier. Why not? When I'm summoning summon an ephemeral copy of me. Oh, well, that's... Oh, or another Poro Snacks on the Warning Shot. So it makes two Poros. Oh, I got to go with that. But I want to put more Fizzes in the deck. But I guess we need to put more Warning... Oh, man. Oh, are, am I actually not going to choose Fizz? I think I'm going to choose Warning Shot. Yeah, I'm going to choose Warning Shot, I think. Did it not put another warning shot? Or I guess it only put... I only have three now? I guess it only gave you me one, so I have three of them now. Yeah, so like the, the barrier on the fizz doesn't matter, but it would just be putting another fizz into the deck. But like the warning shot is like an actual upgrade. Alright, so warning shot and fizz. Those are the two cards we want. We've been mulliganing a lot. If only we were lucky and we didn't have to mulligan. All right, so this is a tough challenger lifesteal. And, oh, a scout. Elusive scout. <laughs> Poro. Back to 30. That was our warning shot. See if Callista gets scout. Quick attack, Callista. Man, yeah, I guess so. The thing is, like, I could have saved Callista with Sunblast Vigor, but just like Monkey Business is just a better card because <laughs> you get two Monkey Business, and they're both three threes or four threes, and they both have different powers, and they both have Challenger. Yeah, the old the old tough ephemeral. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, we get some more monkeys. Sure. I want a fizz. No fizz. We're just making jettisons. Yes, there we go. Now we're talking. What do we get? Oh, it just gets elusive immediately? Well, that's too bad. That was the keyword it got. Do we get scout? Ah. I want scout for the keyword, but... Um... I'll just attack with the elusives. Okay. The Spell Shield Ephemeral. It's a classic combo. Alright, we need one more. We're about to go to the final boss with Victor. We do get two rerolls. But, like, these are good These are good cards, right? Like, like making Behold the Infinite cost zero because it makes a Poro. Like, that's, that's really good. Giving Poro snacks to parlay, that's very good. I think I'll just make this Behold the Infinite cost. Cost zero. And let's go. If I still had two rerolls left, I didn't even need them. Alright, gone, gone, gone. We got Fizz. And then I was looking for a Parlay or Behold the Infinite. Or, sorry, sorry, I meant Warning Shot. Warning Shot or Behold the Infinite. <laughs> spell Shield Fizz. 8 7 Spell Shield Fizz. I mean, these all. I mean, I guess, I guess we kill one of these. 
They're all elusive, though. <laughs> this is just silly. Yes. Um, none of these matter. I'm not casting a single one of those cards. again. Alright, round three kill. There we go. Alright, so our Fizz Lab to Legend, we are uh, through normal. Fizz Lab to Legendary. Yeah, this patch is, they gave us some ridiculous stuff here. That was crazy. So Yip's genius with Fizz is kind of unbeatable for the CPU. Okay, but that was just normal. It gets it gets tougher. First, what do we got? No dragon. All right, that was yeah, that was a speed run. Twenty six minutes. Okay, we're gonna play Lab, Lab of Legends. Let's go paddling. Nope, back. We're still on normal. All right, hard mode. Let's go paddling. Okay, we're here for hard mode. Do we just do we just free rerolls until we get Von? Yeah, I guess we just do that again, right? Until we get Von Yip's genius, but um. This Little Buddies is amazing also. Just getting random one-cost Poros every single round. But Von Yip's genius. I guess that's that's the best one. So I guess I could just click this until we see Von Yip's genius. They really made this a lot faster. Do y'all want to see a run where I do not get Von Yep's Genius? Of course, it may never show up. It may just say, no, your Von Yep's Genius is too good. Yeah, you want to see a double Von Yep Genius? Yeah, that, that's where... That would be amazing. It is an epic. There we go. Yep's genius. It is an epic power. But I guess if we're going to be going... All right. We're, we're just going to do it. I understand. Yeah. Maybe a couple of y'all want to see like a different a different power. <clears throat> Some of y'all want to see the double, double two of those. So if we're going all the way from normal to legendary to not make it super... Because... This makes the video a lot faster, too, right? The games are going to be much faster with this. This power, this Von Yip's Genius, is not the power for every champion, but it is for Fizz. Okay, and I'm going to... We're not casting Parlay, because we're going to have Double Trouble right here, and then we'll have Petty Officer next round. Oh. Because of getting Dancing Droplet, we get to a tune. So next round, we will be able to Petty Officer and Parlay both. All right, so it's going to take a little bit longer. They have more Nexus health. Remember last time they had one health. Or, sorry, 10 health. Now they have 15. Oh, this is the best for Aurelia as well? Yeah, I bet that with the blade dancing. Yeah, I don't think there are any exclusive powers, like a power that only shows up for a specific champion. They can show up for any champion. Um... Mm. 
I don't know if they'll have Withering Whale or not. This now gives me two units with one health. I guess three units with one health. I hope not. Alright, cool. Alright, so currently we're in... We're in hard mode, right? This is normal, hard... What are we in? Yeah, normal, hard, and then something else after that. Okay. Zed. LeBlanc. Ah, oh, both Zed and LeBlanc. Zed doesn't have, like, good things with it, but Zed's just amazing. LeBlanc also very good. Um, Zed's new. LeBlanc and Gangplank not new. Gangplank may be new. No, I don't think Gangplank's new. I'm gonna go with new Zed. Yeah, so Shadow Fiend will have the Ephemeral, but will be super big. I wonder if we get, like, Dark Star Zed. No, we get Normal Zed. I want Fizz. That's honestly a really good hand. <laughs> we could have just kept all those. But I want Fizz. Alright, Shadow Fiend hit him for half the life total. Just get a Decimate and a half. Zed, let's go. Pledge yourself to the shadow. They follow the wrong master. <laughs> Vephandra says, thank god AI can't complain on Reddit. <laughs> Dude, think what would AI say about this patch? I bet I bet the AI hates this pa this patch. They're like, this this Lava Legends is not balanced at all. Y'all broke this Lava Legends. Picks. No kills, no entry. Mm. Nah, never mind. I kind of want to recall that, but I will. Can't kill my Zed. I'll never let go. Alright, good thing we didn't waste the recall on that. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. Ruin Runner? That's gotta be like the best five drop in the game, right? I'll take some damage. I think we'll be fine. Okay, we found a fizz. But I'm pretty sure they're dead. <laughs> AI would be fuming. <laughs> Alright, that'll do. Get a couple warning shots in there for the play more cards. Um, quest. Alright, we're through mysteries. I think this is where we get our champion item. I think. Have Fizz get another champion item, get some plus two plus twos. Nah. Just a plus one plus one. 
All right, just a plus one, plus one on, on Fizz, not the plus two, plus two. Yes, Taskmaster. Oh, but Jagged Butcher. Oh, this is tough. Those are both great ones, Butcher and Taskmaster. Because Butcher is just, you know, another one drop. So, like, this is going to be a one mana 5-5 five five with Plunder, a 4-4, four, four, you know, that's awesome. Or the Taskmaster that gives the plus one, plus zero to other ones. I think I just, I'm just going to take the Butcher. I just want one drops. Unfortunately, the Living Shadow that Zed makes is a 3-drop, so it doesn't, doesn't show up. Man, we are bad at finding Fizz. Very bad at finding Fizz. We're speed running. That's what it's felt like so far. Alright, we're gonna have to get around all these spiderlings eventually anyway. Right, this is still just hard mode. Then there's heroic and legendary, and so this does get quite a bit more difficult. Just letting Zed level up. I'll take it. Playing the best power is like playing Aurelia Azir on ladder. True. Let's see this first. If I was just sitting back myself, I don't think we're I don't think I'm doing best. No, I don't you just block there. I don't I don't care about taking some damage. Our next is about to reheal. We are trying to do, you know, like four different modes here, so we are kind of speedrunning it. That's why I decided to just go best power. Help speedrun. Okay, we're through our first boss. We're going to get another power. Maybe another Vanya. Or round start rally. Oh, the <laughs> um, the quest is spend mana, not cast card. So, ancient preparations. Round round. Wait, start of the game. Create. Sorry, <laughs> I have to read it over here. Start of the game. Create an ancient preparations in hand. They activate twice. Man, hold them off. That's that one's good. I'm going to reroll. Round start. Grant the weakest ally plus one plus one. Oh, wow. That is good. Start a game. Summon a random landmark from your deck. Well, that doesn't matter. When you summon an ally, give it plus one plus one this round. Grant the weakest ally plus one plus one is kind of cool. Every round. Reroll. Start game, summon two Vanguard Lookouts. Oh, Lookouts! Oh no, I was thinking like the, I was thinking like, just like the three threes. Your spells cost one less. Or when you damage the enemy Nexus, grant the top ally in your deck plus one plus one. That one's pretty good too. Yeah, there are so many cool powers. That's why I want to reroll, because I just want to re read these other powers. Um, spells costing one less is kind of nice, because I have like a lot of these spells. This raiding part, party is kind of cool too. Yeah, Spell Slinger is nice. That one's pretty good. Reroll. And... Oh, we didn't get a great one. Alright, we're going to do this fast deal. 
Round star, draw one, give a fleeting. Reinforcements, we're going to add some more warning shots into the deck. <clears throat> so that'll help us be able to find Thismore. And then if we're drawing... So now we're just drawing two cards around. They do have fleeting, but if we have more warning shots, they cost zero mana. So them having fleeting is no big deal. Alright, so I used all my rerolls. I was looking for another Vanyip or Little Buddies. Uh oh. That's actually gonna kill. That's actually gonna, gonna kill my Fizz. That's not cool. No, it's not. That's not cool. meeting some resistance. Gotta go with the flow. There's double trouble. That one's good. Okay. Time to start doing better. Fiends. And attack. I guess they could take it. Yeah, they may take this. I hope not. That made that easy. All right, found another fizz again. Wonder if I transform this, will it still have? Vulnerable, it will not. Oh, Blossoming Blade's now a 5 drop. Alright, so we'll level up Fizz. So Fizz don't die. Turn this 2-2 two -two into a 5-drop. Yeah, there we go. Kato. Kato Zed. I guess... You don't attack. That's a lot of damage. Okay, so that one didn't go particularly as planned. Took a little bit longer, but we only took three damage to our Nexus. It's not bad. That drawing an extra card or each round ended up being pretty nice. I guess whenever we get to like PNZ though, um, you know, like with those ones, that drawing an extra card each round isn't going to help as much. I guess lead and follow. I mean, we could go five one box to puss. But lead and follow, because it's going to cost zero, right? Like, we want cards that cost very little. And then it'll get us, like, the, the blade dances that are going to be three threes. 
double double trouble oh man all right we're gonna double up double in trouble I have double double trouble Double, double trouble. <laughs> Quadruple trouble. to do that. I guess I just Leave pass. Okay, or... Or we can reset. Five five back. Brothers born from battle. Stop this fool. Hmm. I guess that's gonna survive. So pretty. Oh, if I would have just done that first. I would have had the rush. Not looking great. Yeah, so what did what did Twisted Fate do? It put out a whole lot of elusives in like one round. Yeah, you know, like it like in the late game it just spewed out a bunch of elusives and it was really difficult to stop. You know, just being a, a bunch of elusives. It also it also had tons of card draw and you know leveled up Twisted Fate very quickly. And so you get you play like a bunch of elusives and get all the twists of fate Without destiny sound. cards. I've got these. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Y'all are wondering if I have a bear in here or something. That's, that's my dog Harvey. <laughs> She's rolling around on the ground playing. Okay, we're through Sejuani, right? That was Sejuani? Or no, that was the one before Sejuani. So do we get another champion item? I like champion items. Nope, not yet. Spell reinforcements. Shadows of the past? Oh, I don't have any rerolls. I used all my rerolls. All right, I guess double up. So we can have we can have double double trouble and double double up. Yeah, I mean the other the other two cards just aren't playable. Oh, each war get more warding shots and they all have health potions. That's kind of cool. Or lead and follows when you cast draw a card. I think we'll do that. We'll get more lead and follows. Yeah, we got quadruple buff trouble, and now quadruple, now oh, that other card, double whatever it is. All right, got our one drops. Oh 
and it'd be so good to just play like double Shadow Fiend this round. Um, I will simply pass. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Double, double trouble. And we got it in tune mana. Alright, so. I'll just do the normal attack first. Sure, put him to two. I guess I could have cast some spells, but whatever. Alright, we're going to lead and follow our dancing droplet. Draw some more cards. We draw two cards, one for the leading follow, one for the dancing droplet. <laughs> well, let's do it. Could have definitely leveled up the Fizz before attacking, but that's alright. Alright, second second champion dead, so we get one more power. What's our third power gonna be? No rerolls. When you summon an ally, grant it a random keyword. Let's go! That's like my favorite. I love keywords. When I'm summoned, summon an ephemeral copy of me for Fizz? Oh man, but for Zed? Oh no, do we gotta do that for Zed instead of for Fizz? Oh no, maybe we need to do that for Zed. Oh no, we gotta do it for Fizz. We need more Fizz. We're, we're going Fizz to Legendary. Not Zed to Legendary. Man, this is just not fair. <laughs> I hope we get runs like this whenever we're on Heroic and Legendary mode. Alright, so this one has Fearsome, this one has Lifesteal. We're gonna have too many cards in hand for sure. There's Warning Shot. Warning Shot's good because it it's easy to get Warning Shot out of our hand. So I'm saving the spell mana for the double trouble bubble. We'll start there. And now I can get, I can play two of Fizz, Shadow Fiend, Jagged Butcher. We're obviously playing Fizz. Okay, so you're a scout. You can start and you can attack first. Y'all can all attack. 4-3 challenge this 3-2. We'll play the Jagged Butcher post-combat. Man, this is just ridiculous. Fury? <laughs> oh, I don't have any creative cards to play. Oh, that was a creative card. Oh, but Augment only, yeah, right. Augment only gives plus one, plus zero, not plus one, plus one. Hmm. I think we'll be fine at 24. Uh, 
Oh, man. How are they just letting that hit them? Five out of six. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna attack. Alright, so they're down to three. And we'll just go lead and follow for the win. A parlay! Okay, we're going on to. Not the final boss yet. We got two more. We got turrets and then victory. <laughs> Spectre plus three plus three, but ephemeral. They're already ephemeral. So we give them plus three plus three. Uh, that's probably better than any of these. We could we could double up double up again. So we're we're already doubling up double up, and we can double it up again. But it's just a six mana spell. Like we're never gonna. Yeah, like it just doesn't matter. So I guess we're just gonna go with more sh shadow fiends to get the plus three plus three. <laughs> All right, so we got three shadow fiends. Yeah, so lead and follows or call an ally to summon two three three blades with random keywords and also draw a card. We also have whenever we cast lead and follow, we draw a card. And also it gets the cost reduction whenever you play other things. <laughs> Shadow feeds a seven six. Alright, what we got? We got regen and fury. I guess maybe I should have just led with that Shadow Fiend first. It was gonna go away. So lead and follow is basically like, you know, do you not like your keyword? We will, we shall reset your keyword for you. All right, double, double trouble. Follow the, I guess the chip. All right, get our augment spell out here. I <laughs> know, right? That double trouble. <laughs> Three spell mana. Is insane. Right, already down to eleven. Let's take this puppy for a spin. Um, I don't really have the room to play stuff. Like, I want to play um, lead and follow, but we just destroy a bunch of things because I don't have any room. Uh, I guess I could just play some one drops. Nothing wrong with a 4 4 life steal, I guess. Overwhelm Zed? Kill my Zed. I don't really have room to put it back in my hand. I guess I should I should play the pick a card first. Oh, 
my double trouble bubble. All right, on to Victor. On to Victor. <laughs> Lead and follow can have an additional draw card. Because, I mean, these other two don't really matter. So I guess so. We'll have more lead and follows. And they'll draw even more cards. Alright, we're kind of drawing an insane amount of cards now. With, you know, getting two cards per turn. Now lead and follow draws two. Sprayfin can draw lead and follow or double trouble. Alright, so I'm going to keep the... I, I know none of these are Fizz. Usually I, I mulligan and look for Fizz quite a bit, but... We've seen Double Trouble is kind of insane. Oh man, this it's Scout! The Scout just doesn't matter with the Ephemeral. And that would have been a good card to Death Mark. Okay, so I can cast both Double Troubles. But we do, you know, we waste part of it if we cast all of them. Here, you got Scout. You s send you in there. Good trade, good trade. Oh, I can't even cast the other one right now anyway. All right, that's fine. How did the barely a buff buffs work out? Or like... Oh. What do you mean? What do you mean, Sparrow? For like, like a really Azir still looks great, right? Like it doesn't, it doesn't look any different, or at least it, just in the few games that we played. Talia Malphite. Okay, how did how were those? How did those look? They looked better, especially Talia. Talia's was definitely a more impa impactful buff, but yeah, whenever we played Malphite, each time we had it leveled up like exactly at ten. And, um, you know, I don't think we leveled it up at, at 11 at all. Or, you know, at 12. Like, it was always, like, exactly at 10. Uh, you can block this one. I don't have room for the other Fizz. But if we just open attack, that other Fizz is ephemeral anyway. you. Alright, level up. Yes, Talia looked pretty decent. Let's put this over on the side. Is this even lethal? It is not lethal. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what we had with our, um, you know, Malphite Renekton deck, was we had a lot of two-mana landmarks, you know, a lot of those two-mana cards with the landmarks, so we uh, didn't necessarily have 12-mana um, of landmarks all the time. Man, we have so much card draw in here. Yeah, I mean, I just want to clear up spots. Alright, Blade Dance. No, no. 
Unfortunately, these get obliterated whenever you remove them, but we're still gonna remove them from combat. So now we rally, so now we get to attack with everything else. And we have plundered, so let's play this so we can get a lot of keywords. It has Challenger, Spell Shield, and Lifesteal. That is a lot of keywords. And here we go. I guess Challenger will go over there. Alright. So we have defeated hard mode. We have defeated normal mode and hard mode in our trip from Fizz to Legendary. It's going to get harder now. The jump between hard to heroic is the biggest jump because now the opponent's going to start, start, they will start with units in play with heroic mode. Um, I think our first run was better. Yeah, yeah like our deck with our first run was, was better than that one. But we still got the job done. So yeah, so here we go. In Heroic, in addition to the extra health and items they just had, now they summon a reinforcement at round, at game start. So the very beginning of the game, they just start with a reinforcement in play. Okay, but that's going to be part one. I'll split this up into two videos. So there's part one of um, Fizz 2 Legendary, Normal, and Hard Mode. Check them off. Now we got Heroic and legendary and that will be up for part two so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button i hope y'all enjoyed this video and had as much fun watching it as i had playing we're doing some crazy stuff here with these fizz for sure all right but thank you so much for watching the lab of legends and i'll see you for the next video